Did you miss me? I know you did. After four months of bad movies and box office duds, Twisters has finally arrived to save the summer movie season. A sequel to the awesome 1996 Bill Paxton movie, Twisters has opened to $80 million in its first weekend in the US. It's already a massive hit and a coronation for new star Glenn Powell. That's great and all, but what about the movie? To begin with, it's not really a sequel, it's more of a remake. The story is pretty much the exact same as the first film. The main characters are storm chasers again who have to launch something into a tornado because science. There are no returning characters or continuing plot points from the previous movie. You see the Dorothy device once in one scene early in the movie, but that's it. Let's talk about the good. The visual effects. I'm relieved to say that the special effects in the movie look great. Too often the CGI in big movies lately looks like complete shit. The twisters and twisters are impressive. It almost looks like they filmed actual storms and placed them in the movie. It seems like a new tornado drops out of the sky every five minutes in the film. They look so imposing and terrifying. Watching how fast and powerful these tornadoes can be, you just see them rip people right off the ground. There's a good scene where the main characters go to a rodeo and a twister breaks out. You watch the main characters try and help people while seeing other people panic and just get sucked up into the twister. On the human side of things, Glenn Powell is incredible and the movie just wouldn't work without him. He plays a tornado wrangler, which is a YouTuber who drives right into twisters while anchoring himself to the ground, and then he live streams it for his audience. At first he's presenting it as possibly the villain of the story, but as the movie goes on you find out there's more to him than you think. Powell's performance is great though, he's cocky and shows machismo every second he's on screen. He's the MVP of the movie. Daisy Edgar Jones is good as Kate, the main lead of the film, but she gets completely outshined by Powell in every scene. She's got pretty much the same arc as Helen Hunt from the first film. There's also Anthony Ramos who's the third lead of the movie as Javi, another storm chaser and one of Kate's friends. His performance is good but his storyline felt a little unnecessary by the end of the film. Now let's go on to what doesn't work. The plot. The story is completely predictable, and you can figure out all the story beats from beginning to end. The movie opens with Kate and Javi, working as storm chasers with their friends. It's a light move, they're all having fun and making jokes. They're all so dead. You can just tell one minute in the movie her friends are all gonna die and the rest of the movie is gonna be about Kate overcoming her trauma from the event. The three leads get all the screen time. None of the rest of the characters matter. Remember in the original film all the memorable supporting characters? You got Dusty, Rabbit, Belzer, that weird old guy. In Twisters, the supporting characters all feel like stock characters. And after the movie ended, I couldn't remember a single one of their names. By the end, I felt like the movie suffered from a lack of tension. At a certain point, you realize that none of the characters are going to die. Not even David Cornsaw's villain character. It makes the movie feel like it's without any personal stakes when the movie's only willing to kill the extras. The movie should have killed at least one of the members of Powell's Storm Chaser team just to show that the characters were in danger. In conclusion, Twisters doesn't compare to the original and it's not going to go down as a great movie, but it's an entertaining watch. If you can watch it in IMAX then do it, the tornado scenes are worth it alone.